Hello and welcome to the continuation of lesson two. And really we don't have a lot left here except of how to plan our files. As you can see, I made a nice little process chart here to show you how this is going to work. Now, as you can see right here, we have on the bottom left we have a level.bb file. And into this level.bb file are going to go all of our main functions. And we're going to make them into functions, and you'll see why uh, very soon. Functions that are going to do basic stuff such as set up our world, set up our collisions, our enemies, our player. Uh, you get what I'm where I'm going, so yeah. And then, as you can see here, from levels.bb, we're leading to our level 1, level 2, level 3, our levels files, our level files. And these level files are going to include our main level file. And that's done with a really simple command in Blitz3D. You'll see later. And we're going to use the functions we made in level.bb to basically help us out, set, uh, help us out with our levels. To set stuff up in our game loop, in our main, like, object creating section where we're going to create all of our objects and really that's all we're gonna do there we're just gonna s design and set up our levels which is going to be made easy using our level.bb file then finally all of these uh, levels are going to be included in our main.bb file which is next in the process chart and in main we're going to have this levels like global variable and levels the levels the global variable is going to be set to zero and in our game loop we can say if levels is equal to zero then we can oh yeah and by the way I forgot to mention that in le in each level we're going to wrap all that code up in a function for level 1.bb we're gonna wrap all the main code up in a function so yeah we're gonna include them in the main file and then in the main file we're going to have in the game loop an if statement saying if levels our global variable is equal to zero then run some function from for instance level one and in level one we named like fu a function load level one so in main.bb we're gonna say load level one and then you're probably gonna ask well how do we move on to level two how does main.bb know that level one is completed and level two is gonna go and we're going to run level 2. Well, that's pretty simple. In level1.bb in our function, our main, like, whole function, well, you know, usually functions are supposed to actually have a return value, meaning they're supposed to do some processes, and then they're supposed to return something. So in level 1, we can say that we can return a value when the game is complete, which can either be all the enemies are destroyed, or we can re where we reach the goal, it can be practically any one of these, and then we can like return one or change some kind of variable, and we can set main.bb to detect that, to detect there's some kind of change or if there's some kind of like return value suddenly. So yeah, that's definitely going to be a key point, and then we can move on to level two, uh, level three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's really all we have for planning our files. Next, we're going to look at some basic like strategies in our game, how our player is going to move, how our bullets are going to shoot, practically some of these main game elements. So, and after that, we're finally going to get to writing our code. Okay, see you in the next lesson.